All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about a, a sad um, sort of ending to one of the great careers in music. I'll be doing that shortly in real time for a few real people out here just like you and just like me. It's elder abuse. It's painful to watch. I haven't addressed this one yet, so um, hang in here. Uh, I'm going to talk about a legend. But before I get to that legend, here is a band that I've been listening to a lot lately. You probably don't know who these guys are, which is the point. Uh, these guys are called The Sound. The Sound. Pretty easy to remember. Uh, what are you listening to? I'm listening to The Sound, right? And uh, this is their album called Make It Count. They have two albums out. If you like uh, country, gospel, maybe a touch of bluegrass, Bands like uh, The Eagles, Rascal Flats, Poco. Um, these guys can sing. Their blend is top-notch. Uh, it's great music. So even um, if it's not in your wheelhouse, per se, uh, it's it's super well done. And uh, I'm going to go see these guys, hopefully. <laughs> if there isn't a hurricane at the beginning of November, I'm going to be seeing these guys not too far from where I live. Because as you all know, I don't go to too many concerts and it has to be somewhat close to where I live. And even this is a little bit of a stretch. And who knows, the hurricane might just roll right through this place and then I won't be able to go to the show. So I was supposed to go to Mercy Me uh, on Thursday. That's That's been canceled. So yeah, <laughs> so I'm trying to go. All right, so uh, the story I have here is a sad story and it's kind of going viral because the internet, you know how the internet is. It's not a happy place. It's not a friendly place. It's, it, it's kind of a place that uh, at this juncture in time has become very toxic. And so I wanted to talk about this because this is another artist that's hung out for a very long time and people kind of ignored the fact that uh, he was still around. And then when I checked how old he was a couple of years ago, I was like, holy crap, Batman. And he's still doing this. Now, I would say about five years ago, uh, he, I think, was still really singing. And I think, you know, for the most part, he was firing on, you know, say out of eight cylinders, probably seven. Now it's just painful to see. All right. So the story... From oldies 93.5, 90-year-old Frankie Valley is still on tour after seven decades in the music and entertainment industry, and he doesn't plan on slowing down anytime soon, despite ongoing concern for his health. He's 90 years old, folks. Now, the first 45 I ever purchased as a very young person was a song called December 1963. And uh, for me, that was like the greatest song in the world. And to this day, as many of you, I'm sure agree, it's it's one of the great songs uh, of all time, has aged very well, still sounds good even today. Um, don't hear it as much as you should, but Frankie Valli in the Four Seasons, so many songs Frankie Valley's a solo artist. I mean, Greece. I mean, there's just so much. I mean, it's hard to just really cover it all. So the guy has quite a catalog to choose from. It says here, the Bye Bye Baby uh, Goodbye star got candid speaking to People magazine on September 30th regarding a viral performance that sparked health concerns. And uh, he simply stated he wanted to clear the air. Now, uh, I went and uh, listened to these performances, and Frankie is stoic. He is just, I, I hate to say he looks like Joe Biden trying to give a press conference, but that's kind of what it reminded me of. Just very motionless, very still. And again, he's 90 years old. I don't blame him. Uh, but they're trying to carry on and pretend that, hey, it's all cool. This isn't weird. Um, you know, he's got a great supporting band. Um, the vocal track sounds good because it's got to be a vocal track. I'm sorry, because his mouth is not moving enough 
It's just, if you watch, it's, it's not a good lip sync and he's not blinking a lot. It's just not a good situation, but he says here, um, you know, I am blessed to be 90 years old and still doing what I love to do. And as long as I'm able and audiences want to come see me, I am going to be out there performing as always. I absolutely love what I do. And I know we put on a great show because our fans are still coming out in force and the show still rocks. So what's the, the key phrase or couple of words you take away from that statement by Frankie Valley And audiences. See, this is the key, folks. It doesn't matter what the performance is anymore. I said this about the Eagles at the Sphere in Vegas. Amazing place to go see a show. Don Henley said, hey, uh, get your Dramamine ready. It's not about the music part of it. It's about the show. Doesn't matter that Joe Walsh uh, sounds like a creaky barn door. Do doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, and in this case, it doesn't matter if Frankie Valley uh, just freezes up on stage and you can kind of see his mouth moving a little bit. This is not good. This isn't how you want to remember a legend like this. This guy has had what, like a 75-year career or something to that effect? It's crazy how long he's been doing this. They said seven decades, and I think he was a teenager when he got started, so it's even longer than that. Um, it was a completely different world when Frankie Valli began his career, and he says fans are coming out, and the show still rocks, according to his statement, and someone posted a video here. I'm not going to share the video because I, I don't think it's it's helpful. I, I mean, if you want to go look this up, you can probably find it. It was on the oldies 93.5 website. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess because the money is still good. I don't know. Doesn't Frankie have enough money? And here's the other side to this, right? I can kind of understand some of this is that if you leave what your purpose is in life, if you just decide to stop, you're probably not going to be around for too long. And I think Frankie Valley, who's 90 years old, got to 90 because he kept doing what he loves doing. No question about it. And obviously, good genes, maybe a healthy guy. He doesn't look bad. Quite frankly, for a 90-year-old, he, he looks pretty good. But I don't know how you go and say, yeah, this is a really good performance and you're not kind of freaked out by some of it. I guess he might be, you know, attracting a certain fan base of a certain age that is pretty much in the same boat, per se. Like, they have kind of the same issues. So they're thinking, hey, this guy is one of us. We can relate to Frankie Valley, And people over 80... Who can they go and check out if it's, you know, somebody that they grew up listening to? There's there's not a lot of them. And so, you know, you got Willie Nelson, too, who's 90 or 91. You have Frankie Valley. You got Ringo, who's what, like 85 or something. So there are a few people, but um, Frankie Valley represents a completely different generation, like two, three generations back. So, again, um, it's complicated, but I would say I think it's probably time for Frankie to retire. And um, just so it, he doesn't just collapse on stage or something like that. I don't think he will collapse on stage, and I'm not wishing anything bad on the guy. But you'd hate to see somebody, I guess, because you'd like them to just be remembered a certain way. That's all. That's all. And I understand the guys in Chicago, the band... They said that they wanted to be on stage and just keel over, and that's how their careers end. I don't know if that's a good way for your uh, careers to end, but um, I think they're serious. I think their touring schedule this year was as robust as any in recent years for Chicago, the band. So anyway, folks, I guess if you 
still want to go check out Frankie Valley. It, I mean, it, just to see the 90 year old on stage, that might be part of the allure of this at this stage. You can go do that. And uh, there are videos out there that you can watch and make a determination whether or not that's something you want to do. Um, I just, I don't know, folks. This is, I, I think he should probably wrap this up. Now, people believe he has a health issue because of what's going on. Again, do you see a lot of 90-year-old people kind of strutting around stage and looking like they're an athletic frontman for a rock band? Because essentially it's rock music. It's pop, whatever, R&B. But it's it's a rock band. And I, I just... I think it's time to pull the plug. Anyway, that's uh, that's Frankie Valley, And these guys are known as The Sound. Uh, this is their album called Make It Count. As we count down to Milton. Oh, boy. Uh, thanks for all the well wishes, the coffee, the prayers, all that. You know, we um, just got the settlement from the insurance company from the last storm. So the new hurricane-proof windows are in. The doors are in. We got hurricane proof doors. The roof is on and uh, everything is supposedly under warranty still. So, you know, uh, it's in God's hands. Uh, I'm just going to have to trust. Thanks for watching. See you soon.